I don't know why everyone was so worried about me getting sick. With both my parents and Dipper here, and the boat constantly moving, it's hard to really feel like you're being kept away from home. All you have to do is imagine that the ship is sailing straight for Huntington, and I feel fine. Okay, I know it's impossible for an ocean liner to sail to West Virginia, but it works. Anyway, the food on the ship is great, and they have game rooms, and a swimming pool, and lots of other things to keep me distracted. Oh, and the cruise director, Quinn? He's the best. He knows a lot about the sea, and sailing, and everything. Dipper and I could spend hours listening to him. I heard that we'll be going through a storm front later today. Isn't that dangerous? Boy, it can be. But the storm isn't that strong, and on a boat this size you hardly feel it. Long as you're not out on deck. Good thing Birch won't be here for it then. I remember him getting airsick on the way to Canada. Oh, you should have seen him back in San Francisco when I went whale watching. He was really out of it then. Now don't you two go making fun of them what suffered from seasickness. Many is the old sailor what spent his time on deck, simply to stare at the horizon to keep himself from heaving over the side. You mean sailors can get seasick? Why didn't they just stay home then? Oh, sometimes it can't be helped. Seaside villages often rely on fishing for their livelihood. Celtic soil is not that rich, even near the ocean. So rather than being farmers, villagers are either net makers, boat builders, fishmongers, or fishermen. Now, it didn't take that many sea craftsmen to supply a village, but there was always a demand for more fishermen. It didn't require much skill, so most young men spent some time at sea learning the trade. Why, I know quite a few stories about the perils of sail in the fisheries of the north. But I won't bore you with those. Ah, uh, come on! Yeah, please. Dipper and I love these stories. All right, all right. Well, it goes back a ways. There was a fishing village on a Scottish oil called Mingale. Now, Mingale is in the North Atlantic, and the tales they tell of the weather, it can turn against you in the wink of an eye. Well, one day, as they were pulling in their last catch of the day, a sudden squall came up out of the west. The wind blew, and the waves rose. Thoughts of them floundering filled their head and gave them great fear. But the captain, he was a wise old salt and knew exactly what to do. He pulled out his bagpipes and started up a song of encouragement. The sea shanties of old helped the crew work together in unison. It gave them hope and it lifted their spirits, and soon they were singing and working together to bring the boat safely home.
Sailing home.